it's official. You're back yeah. in Hamilton. I'm sure you had a lot of options of different places that you, you could have gone after your first two seasons, which were successful by any measure, whether you want to go off of yards, catches, touchdowns, all that kind of stuff. It, it opens up options to you. But when all those options are spread on the table, why Hamilton? Um, I believe at the end of the day, it just was the best opportunity for me um, and my family. <clears throat> Obviously, this place has been great to me the last two years I've been here. And uh, looking at it, you know, on paper, like you said, it was just an opportunity that I wanted to continue. Uh, you know, you have Bo coming in, and uh, it's rare that you get an opportunity to play, you know, with a quarterback of that cal caliber, uh, somebody who's been to the championship games and won them, also was an MVP of this league. So uh, that's an opportunity that I didn't want to pass up on uh, at the end of the day. Um, Obviously, to be able to continue, you know, leadership around here, you know, just as a player, uh, it's something, it's a challenge that I kind of look forward to. And uh, I think it's just a great opportunity moving forward. Um, and obviously the city, you know, you got to love the city. You know, it's just a hard-nosed town and uh, just to be able to go after and get after it uh, feels good. You know, it's a challenge that I want to uh, bring a championship here. That's, that was my main thing coming up here. And uh, that's something I want to accomplish. Yeah, and so there's, that's a big motivating factor for a lot of people, rightfully so. I mean, that's why people put on the pads is to go out there and, and win the big game. Right. But after two seasons, you know, cumulatively you hit over 2,000 yards. Last year you had over 1,200, you had eight touchdowns, led the CFL in receptions. What is it that, you know, despite all of the things that, the challenges that happen with the team, what pushed you and allowed you to have that kind of a year despite all of the, the barriers that may have been put in front of you? Um, really, every single week is just a different challenge, you know, and I look forward to those challenges. <clears throat> I feel like um, there was like a lot of great opportunity that I had and I wanted to capitalize on that. And the number one factor is just winning. You know, I feel like uh, when you have those opportunities to win games, things like that, I yearn for that, I look forward to that. So it was just one of those moments where it was like, uh, every single week I wanted to put on and towards the end of the season I just had so much energy I just wanted to continue to go and continue to put on for uh, for my teammates and everything like that So it was just great opportunity Do you ever feel pressure like when you when you're in the game leading up to the game? Having big performances that you have to follow up or even signing this contract now It's not that you're a first year second year guy and you can fly under the radar like you're him now right so do you ever feel pressure of that um i feel like it's it's really just you have to look at the realistics of every situation and um obviously i, I look at it in the best way you know I, I want that challenge i want whatever is in front of me so i look to look to step forward to it so no i don't really feel pressure um i just look to to step up to the challenge whatever it is i want that opportunity yeah and so Speaking of opportunities, everybody knows what game is going to be played at the end of the year in Hamilton. So there's a great opportunity this season. What are your expectations coming back into this locker room with the team that's going to be formed this summer? What are you looking forward to? Well, I'm looking forward to bringing all the guys together, you know, before we even step out there on the football field. Uh, we need to be much further as a team than we have ever been. And uh, obviously making sure that these guys are prepared, making sure they're ready, making sure they're comfortable. And so we step on the field, people know exactly what it is. Uh, we don't have a lot of time to spare and we have to get things going. Uh, my first year um, here, it was, a, it was a weird, you know, a weird time with COVID and everything like that. And it was a short season. Uh, and obviously it was my first year up here. And my second year, really, I stepped in to a role that I really had to learn and develop for myself. So this year, I feel like it's a perfect opportunity and a perfect time, especially bringing in another great leader in Bo. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Would yeah. you consider yourself uh, a leader type of person? Yeah, definitely. I do see myself as a leader. Um, obviously, uh, perception is everything, and you know it matters what, what the other guys think of you, but I look forward to you know rising to that challenge and showing them what I'm made of. You know, and, uh, Every time I get to step out there on the football field, they're going to get the maximum amount of energy, the maximum amount, uh, maximum amount of focus in the meeting rooms and on the field. Yeah, and so speaking about stepping out onto that field, 
There's uh, 24,000 faithful that come out every single game. And like you said, it's a uh, lunch pail, hard hat city. Yeah. So when that family buys, you know, four tickets for uh, parents and, and two little kids that come to the game and they see 12 on that field, yeah. what, what are they signing up to see? Explosiveness. Somebody that's gonna, gonna get the guys ready to go. Mm. High energy. Mm. Someone that's looking forward to play, looking forward to making the big play, looking forward to making game winners, you know? And uh, when I look up there in the crowd, I really want, I want that pressure. I want everybody to, you know, we know where the ball's going and get it to him and let's see what happens. Can't wait. Yes, sir.